We'll see if anything keeps up around the bounty rings. Looks like EG will be able to skin themselves to the bottom. Top lane, there's a stun on to two here from RTZ. They'll look for the bounty rune and well, it's going to be Samal grabbing one, Misery grabbing the other, but Misery, is he getting himself out of this one here? RTZ's got a mango, he's going to chomp on it, and has he got the rage? Yes, he has. They'll walk in. Oh, PPD! Peter! Why do you take first blood? But hey, they get it anyway. EG there with a kill on the board. I think we expected because when you pick Lion and Spectre into a Dark Seer, you don't really expect to be able to zone him. But EG still wanting to pressure the safe lane. They're smoked up. Let's see what Fear and PPD can do with this one. They've got eyes on Envy, and Envy's still hanging around. He's incredibly low. He doesn't have any regen. He's only got the stick charges to rely on him. Straight in. Here we go. He's all alone. Fear and PPD closing in. They'll catch him out and they'll bring him down the same time. Mid lane, Samel dies, gets the kill. Puffy is there for the return one. But that's two big kills there for, for EG, and they do lose a bat for it, but still a trade that the die is going to be happy with. I think that this, this Darkseer opening is so strong against what Seeker would like to do because they've been one of the teams, obviously aside from EG themselves, who've loved the Enigma and loved running heroes like Tidehunter. They're just dropping wards behind the tower. Looks like Pilot Die is going to scout them out, but they just don't want Envy farming at all. EG's got four down, and here's the bat surged up. Samael's trying to get in range here for the last only will. He brings back Envy. The rest of EG's there to close in on him. Envy still fairly tanky with a point of dispersion, but it's not going to be enough. Another kill onto the Spectre. Heroes hanging around, but Samael's playing it safe. I'm pretty sure if that boulder smash hit, it was a kill. That's actually really unfortunate that we missed that, because not only was Puppy there, but Pi Lai Dai was there too. And Pi, of, a, of the supports, definitely needs the experience. Like, he wants to get six as soon as humanly possible. That's uh, trying to cross her out of point where Envy has got a horn, and he might need to use it to get out of it. He's not even going to have the charge. Sartese so was there. Straight in with the storm armor and the god strength. And this is the scary thing about having a Spectre up against a Sven that gets this far ahead of you. Suddenly, the Spectre just can't do anything in these engagements. I think the Spectre pick just ended up being... Nine minutes in, 4.7k here on RTZ. This is uh, its certainly panning out to be quite a simple Sven game here for the boy. Yeah, well... The longer that they leave Misery alone, there is always an opportunity for him to come back into the game, get his Radiance. Oh, a nice again. kick and stun onto two. The Silent there as well, and here comes the hole from Envy. They'll focus onto Samel and they'll get themselves the bat. The power of the Spectre to shine off that. Envy getting himself involved in the action. We just got to be a bit careful here. He's kind of left alone. He's still trying to fight with the Magnetize, ticking PPD down. Puppy's coming in as well. There is a black hole. He's not going to want to commit it at the moment, Universe. Able to base. He's got the mana for the Horn and the Dagger. So he can come straight back in. They're eyeing up Artesi and Fear. Here we go with the Horn, setting up the vision. They'll look to go into Artor here with Envy. There's a finger onto Fear, the Hex as well. Puppy trying to bring this one down, but Fear maybe a little bit too tanky for the score. It's off the same time on the left. Artesi getting low. He's going to go for the TP. Oh! Artesi TP's home. He gets himself found out. EG just turning around. The Doom was dropped onto Puppy. They're going to lose high as well. And now Samael gets himself in. Lasso onto Envy. We says, I'm out of here, son. And Envy, he will be able to get himself out. He's, he's in the tree line. He's going to continue to run. People PPD didn't quite have the mana anyway if he went the right direction, but there we're just ready to catch out some of the members of Secret and um, one lane, Samael. They can get anything here. There'll be a haunt and a finger onto PPD. They'll get themselves a kill. Envy's jolting it as well. They want to try and fight this one. The stun onto Puppy RTZ has been hexed up. Envy moving in onto Fear as well, and he's going to find himself another one. They'll lose Puppy, but two kills here for Secret. They may lose Envy as well. In fact, the cleave off the bear nearly killing Envy on the Spectre, but he will get out. We are as well to roll out of there. So, Puppy, for yeah, it's not an easy game for the Enigma. Uh, mid lane, a lot of hate going on to the bear here. Walking the bear, somehow leeching him back. Uh, it's not going to be quite enough to kill him. He really wants to kill this. He's he's playing with this one. Eh? Oh, torn. He's, he's okay, that's an Aegis. The bear torn worked out. Misery, oh, he does lose it. Samael, I'm going to have to jump it down and we'll see if they can catch anyone else out here. They'll be the recent runner there. The swap bringing Puppy straight back into the middle of it all. They'll use the horn. They're trying to fight here, Secret. Oh, with the back hit back wall! They'll lose out TZ though. Secret still living through this fight. It's going to be Envy that's starting to clean up. They've found two kills here. Secret are doing it. Start to Samael. They'll get themselves a double kill on the Air Spirit. Four heroes down on EG. And a huge horn. It was a universe, bless him, it was a lovely vacuum into the wall, but secret, the bear's radiance just melting through EG, and Envy just turning up at the right time, and a huge fight and a huge golden XP swing there to secret. And Misery and Weaver coming in with the big plays when it was needed, 
and certainly Secret knocking on the racks of EGs. They'll find themselves the range racks and now the players safe. They'll back off to Mayo. Ah, oh, he's looking for the bear. In fact, well, Fear jumping in with a Doom on to Wii. Oh, Teasy! Oh, oh, look at the damage! It's not quite enough, so they'll be fine apart from Wii. He's going to drop. Ah, oh, can he get himself more? Turn forward, look at the misery. One more slice will do it, and it does. Brings down Lone Druid. Now, oh, Teasy, he's got his eyes on Envy. Can he get this one somehow coming in? There's just the last one to hold Envy down. As suddenly, just like that, EG regain their control on the game. I think that's kind of how the pace of the game is going to be dictated. If EG have Doom up and they have Lasso, they're going to be going in every opportunity. But be the first team to jump. Oh, it's easy just frontlining at the moment. I've got that vision thanks to that. Indeed, that nice warding around the pit here, Secret. And here we go, Arteezy. He's moving across, seeing if you can find anything. There's the horn coming out. They look to focus down to Mail and to Mail. Holy Lord, yes, he's going to go down. We with the stun gets it. Arteezy from the BKB. Eyes on to Puppy. Can they keep up with him? Oh, PPD actually swaps himself in. He wants to drive up. But Puppy turns around with the Mail PPD. He's going to go down. Now the stop for Pala Man clipping onto Arteezy. Secret moving in. They'll get the slow, the ball to roll on to do in the Mail tour. Fully loads to the back. The taste the radius to the Mail. He'll go down. Universe, oh! We can't take the team me with the stun. Four dead on EG. Secret turning it the hell up and they'll head into Roshan. What a mess for EG. What an absolute mess. God, that was so nicely executed by Secret. But we go back to the vision, right? Like, look at the words that Secret had right now. They saw everything that was going to happen. Certainly, for just the, the kind of the Misery Lone Druid and uh, the Envy Spectre, it, it worked out in the sense that they had the Spectre at EG. They were worried about that, and suddenly, you know, Misery just climbs up through the game, and he's top of the network. Misery just doing a lot of work this game. We see EG smoked up. Seeing they can find with that wall. They puppy. spot Puppy coming up lane. Puppy, oh, oh, bless him. Puppy, no mercy here for the man. They'll use the horn. They'll try and fight back into it. Puppy will go down, though. They get the root onto Samel. Envy in the midst of it all. Nice stuff for we are onto two, and Envy does to chip away. The gem's going to be dropped. Samel hits the deck. Now he's trying to come through. He gets Envy, but Envy's got the Aegis. Universe has been rooted up here. They drop the wall in the middle of the fight. Now it's easy blinking forward, looking for misery on the side. Envy's back. Now he's going to turn onto PPDs, looking for the weaker heroes, trying to bring down Peter. Arteezy oh, stuns the bear, Misery's going to go for the straight TP out. Is he going to get it there? Fear coming down with the blade. Now PPD's swapping himself in. The stun group pile that comes through the three for two at this point. Envy's still in the fire. We are again with the stun. The bear on to Arteezy, Arteezy. Oh, he gets we, but he does end up going down. Now Envy is the final one up here, looking for Fear. Pile I die, still not quite close enough to help out. Envy, he doesn't need any help. He's got himself. Who needs friends? Envy just does it on his own. My He's got this, God. this Spectre. Envy just, bam. We saw at the start of the game, he was third lowest on the net worth, 29 minutes in his third highest. And it's the power of the Spectre, Andy, and Envy utilizing it to perfection. Even having to force a buyback, I'd always rely on having vision. Well, bottom lane, Secret are there, and Samael is going to be the one to come through with the far fly path. They blink straight onto Samael with the finger. LMV coming in with a horn. That's going to be your bat rider down. But he has been doomed up here on the back lines. We, oh, he goes rolling straight into the middle of it all. Flashing himself flying through from PPD. We, I think he's going to be left behind here. The rest of Secret say, we're out of this one. Samael will hold down the other oh place. And RTZ coming in with the crits. That was a 1500 damage crit. And they will find my surprise. They are going to be fighting, of course, into this Aegis. And let's see what they can do with it. Arteezy jumps in on to Envy, gets the stun off, and here we go. At the same time, oh, the control of Arteezy is bursted down. Then he's gone big, getting rooted up. The wall getting covered, it doesn't matter. Envy's just cleaning them up. There's a buyback from Arteezy. He needs to get back in it, but the rest of his team just dying slowly to the Magnetize. The burn as well, somehow to fall. When he gets himself a double kill as the Magnetize ends up finishing PPD off. And Arteezy, the lone man there, left to defend the base after his buyback. And GG EG is called Secret. 24 to 15 after what was not the best of starts. EG with the Doom Dance here caused you a lot of issues for Envy, but Envy, he proved that it didn't matter. Turns it around and Secret. Game one victory for the man. Now, I would be curious to hear what the panel have to say about this because, in my opinion, this game was won almost entirely on just vision. So, like, the warding that Secret had, winning them that bottom rune fight, securing the first Roshan, all that stuff put them in a dominant position where, like you were mentioning, the laning phase was a little bit shaky. You know, Universe was getting a lot in his off lane. And after that, it just seemed like there was really high...